Its reputation precedes it. We're going to talk about a road with the worst, most consistent traffic snarls in the upstate, and you already know what it is. Officials have spent years <laughs> trying to find a solution for Woodruff Road. Yeah, it is a tough one to solve. And now the DOT is asking for your input on this. They want your ideas. 7 News reporter Kimberly Brown is live along what? Woodruff Road, of course, to explain how we can all weigh in on this. And boy, they're going to get an earful, Kimberly. Indeed, you know, right here on Woodruff Road, you know if you travel it, stop and go traffic is the norm. But the DOT wants when you go to a stoplight to take a look at these signs right here. They lead you to a website where you can weigh in your opinion. When you mention Woodruff Road to most who use it, you'll usually hear things like traffic is bad or it's congested. Carry a wide, a wide range of instruments. For Terry Green, it's just a just part of life that he's learned to navigate good. through. For more than 20 years, he's traveled Woodruff Road to open the doors of his business each day. It's just amazing. I mean, it's just the growth that has happened out this general direction is just incredible. All of this growth means more traffic and congestion, something that the DOT is now looking to ease. Trying to provide some relief, but we need to know where that relief needs to be. Where, where, let's just zoom in on where the big problems are. Signs are posted along Woodruff Road directing people to an online survey where you can let officials know what changes you want to see. I don't know how much more they can widen this road but they're going to have to have some way of kind of alleviating some of this traffic. Widening the road is one possibility. Another includes adding an alternate route. Crews are putting the finishing touches on improving along Salters Road, as well as a new bridge over I-85. This will give drivers a way to avoid the heavy traffic on Woodruff Road. Can we address everyone's concerns? Probably not. Um, there's probably going to be some things that there's a reason we can't do those things, whether it be safety or cost or impacts to other areas. but. We certainly want to hear from you. Still, no idea or suggestion is too big or too small because it may just be what engineers are looking for. And the DOT, they are looking for your opinion. Again, go to that website and weigh in. It's something that the DOT says they're looking for the public to help them navigate through. Also, they're doing a survey to see if an alternate route or a parallel route to Woodruff Road would help out. That's, again, something that you can weigh in on. And the Greenville mayor says he's all for it. Reporting live in Greenville, Kimberly Brown, 7 News. I don't think there's anybody who's going to be opposed to fixing this problem, right, Kim? Uh, let's talk a little bit about this process because there's a lot still to come on this, right? There's places people can go to weigh in. A lot of people will have an opportunity to weigh in. You know, this is a first for the DOT, using cyberspace to get the public's opinion. So either go on the website. They'll also have opportunities for people to come face-to-face -face with officials at the DOT to give their information. And then by law, they have to have open sessions so that the public can ask questions and get answers. So it is a long process, but it's something they're willing to do to alleviate a lot of this congestion. Back to you. All right, when those public hearings happen, we will let you know about them. Thanks, Kimberly.